uh, I thought this is this is going to be quite an interesting video because what I've got here is Graham Hughes sent me his raspberry wheat beer and the and I brewed a raspberry wheat as well but it was using the extract and he used fruit so I've now got two beers here that I can taste side by side because when I did my raspberry wheat with the extract I was just not happy with it it just was one dimensional didn't have that kind of what I was expecting from it it just wasn't great it just felt like it's, it and it kind of overpowered the beer as well so Graham kindly sent me one of uh, two of his beers actually the raspberry I think the other one's a mango he sent me the this raspberry which looks incredible love the colour oh and it smells so good wait let's smell me see what the difference Okay, so this one's kind of got a more, the real fruits get a kind of cider, like what I would normally get from my uh, summer fruit cider that I do. Kind of real tart um, fruit smell, whereas this one's kind of more, it's definitely more artificial, so yeah, definitely like kind of super raspberry. Anyway, let's try this and see. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Yep. Try this one. Mmm. This one's a lot sweeter on the finish. This one's kind of drier and just doesn't have the fruit oomph from it. But this one does. Yeah, don't go using the extract, guys. It's <laughs> I think I know that the the grapefruit ones because you're using the grapefruit skins or the peel. The grapefruit extract seems to work really well, but when it comes to fruit, fruit wins, that's for sure. Oh, I could drink that, that's, yeah, that's very good, this. Mate Dell described it as, it tastes like a lager with a bit of fruit in it. I'm not sure I agree with that, I think it is more... It's definitely got that kind of wheat banana thing with a fruit, the raspberry, and it just doesn't work. So it's probably one of the, <laughs> this is probably one of the worst beers I've brewed um, in a while. Because all of the beers now I've been doing have been brilliant, so this one's not great. Oh, no, but I think I'll just enjoy this one. Oh, yes. Love it. Thanks, Graham. And I'll need to try the other one as well. That's right, okay, back to the next beer that Graham sent me through, which is the mango wheat beer that he did with pureed mango and it's still keeping a head unlike the raspberry, the raspberry uh, just killed its head altogether this seems to still have something kicking about um, and yeah it just looks lovely colour, nice and hazy so give it a wee smell so there's a kind of subtle, very subtle smell of mango on the nose as you'd expect, but um, it's not anything that whacks in the face, but still nice, yeah. Well, let's give it a test. Oh. Mm. 
That surprised me actually, that is so juicy. Right in the middle of your tongue, boom. Oh wow, that's so thick. No thick. It's got a nice thick body to it. Super mangoey, like proper mango fruit on it. It's almost kind of like a milkshake, uh, like a fruit, a fruit pureed uh, milkshake or yeah, like a kind of a juice drink sort of thing. Oh, I like that. I really like that. I can see, so Graham said to me, between the raspberry and the mango, he, he wasn't too bothered with the raspberry and the mango was the one. And I tried it, so I tried the raspberry first, obviously, because it's the same as uh, I'd brewed the raspberry as well. And I, I really thought it was really good. But this is just next level. I can see why he's like, hmm, the raspberry's all right, but this is special. Uh, I would I'd definitely brew this, actually, because this is, this is banging. Oh. <laughs> Well done mate, that's really good. Thanks very much for sending them through. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys keep brewing and uh, keep experimenting because you get to do cool stuff like this and play about with fruit. Now, extracts I can say is grapefruit extract works, but Raspberry extract is a big no-no, uh, so yeah, use real fruit for these, and definitely for mango, oh my goodness, so much is imparted into this, it's, I like it. Okay guys, cheers, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you later, bye.